Show your support. Join the discussion in the comments. Hello, I am that British guy and welcome back to another quick discussion video. There has been a lot of negativity of late towards WWE especially with its issue with the ratings, with the show in Saudi Arabia this past Friday. And I just kind of want to leave that to one side for now and focus on something that's a bit more positive and a bit more uplifting. And that is surrounding the 24-7 Championship. Now granted, the belt itself looks god-awful. Uh, I think most of us can probably agree on that point. It's not a very nice looking belt, but it's been quite fun to see what they have been doing with it. Yes, it got off to a bit of a ropey start the first couple of weeks. It was just our truth sort of running away from people. But the bits and pieces that we've been seeing on social media have been very, very effective and have been drawing a lot of eyes to the product, being kind of the most viewed things that have been on things like their YouTube channel. What I'm kind of referring to specifically is the bits with Jinder Mahal at the golf course and on the tarmac just before they were ready to fly out to Saudi Arabia and on the plane ride as well. It's nice and unpredictable, it's not expected. You get a little notification on your phone saying that there's just been a title change or that something's happened. You have a look on it, it's a couple of minutes and it's just nice, fun. You can see that they're having a good time with it and yeah, you just kind of roll with it. And I think this is why it has kind of been seen in such a positive light by casual viewers and by kind of the more hardcore viewer as well. Because it's just that break away from the very strict, rigid way that the show is presented in general. This is a few of the guys having a bit more creative freedom because... Let's face it, it doesn't really matter as such. It's not one of the top prestigious belts. And it's not controlled with kind of such a fine kind of hand over it. Like the other segments on Raw and Smackdown Live. And I guess as long as it's still on whoever was the champion beforehand by the time they get to the next TV show. It doesn't really matter if our truth drops it and picks it back up on a daily basis or if somebody picks it up they lose it to another guy and another guy and it kind of gets its way back to the beginning again by kind of the next monday's raw it doesn't really matter because if you're not picking up on that on social media and you're just watching the week to week product you can see that well last week our truth say left with the belt and this week he's arriving with the belt again so it doesn't matter if he lost it two or three times during the week they can kind of fill in the gaps a bit on commentary perhaps show a few of those clips and it just kind of opens people up to the fact that these sorts of things these bits of unpredictable happenings will occur from time to time on things like the the website or on the youtube channel things like that and I think it's just a shame that that's not being bled. Maybe it will be bled into the other segments. And there'll be a bit more of a relaxed hand on it. Yes, it still needs to be done professionally. It still needs to be done properly. But it doesn't need such a kind of tight grip over it all the time. We've seen kind of recently what John Moxley, the former Dean Ambrose, has been saying in some of the podcasts about how things are controlled backstage. A lot of people that watch the product and kind of look into the ins and outs of the product on sort of a weekly basis probably had that kind of inkling that those sorts of things were happening and you were hearing kind of rumour and innuendo along that route and the fact that a very current star has kind of legitimised all those thoughts that people have had. It, it just kind of reaffirms that whole grip over everything. It, it doesn't really work in probably the way that is intended. Yes, it is a very good idea for a manager of a huge corporation like that, whoever they are, to be aware of what is happening. But a lot of that stems in then having lower tiered management and middle management underneath that kind of taking ownership over their specific area. 
and then you as the kind of big boss make sure that your managers are managing correctly you can't have your hand in absolutely everything it, it just doesn't work like that and you end up getting shows like we're getting at the moment where Raw is being rewritten sort of as it's going out live at the beginning you're the rewriting the ending or as John Moxley was saying you'll do a kind of a pre-record of something and it will take far too long to do it's not just a case of set up a camera and shoot there's all the worrying about all the sound levels and lighting and everything, which is important yes but as he was saying in kind of a sports field if there's a bit of background noise or like somebody walks behind the shot that they're not necessarily supposed to if you're doing an interview with a team after a match that kind of stuff just happens it doesn't matter and they'll sort of shoot something for a good half hour for literally like a minute's worth of, of time and it'll be looked at and rejected and they'll have to go right back to the beginning again and when you're doing that on a weekly basis and wasting all that time it just kind of strips the fun out of it and you're not able to kind of look at the bigger picture because everything is so minutely micromanaged and I know I said I didn't want to get too negative taking it back to the 24-7 championship that is what I feel we're getting from that it's just a guy there with a camera and these two people are ah, I'll be on the phone or I'll be doing this thing just like hit me with this object roll me up or slam me under this thing and pin me and celebrate with the belt and make a big deal of it and I'll get you back later kind of thing it's just a couple of guys that have had this little bit of a skit look at Drake Maverick with his flyers of have you seen this 24-7 champion with our um, truth on them handing them out to people around the arena before the, the the kind of the gates open and everyone's standing there that just kind of spontaneous organic spark that he must have had and was just like yeah we'll, we'll just go with it and yeah it probably did get signed off further up the line but there's no reason why it wouldn't do it it adds to that this guy finds that this is a really important aspect of their character this belt for them is really important and yeah okay you're not going to get your AJ Styles, your Seth Rollins, your Kevin Owens, your Daniel Bryan guys, your Kofi Kingston main event guys worrying about the 24-7 championship but they've got the Universal title, the WWE title, the US and the Intercontinental belts if we're kind of looking at the mid card. But you've got so many guys that have literally got nothing to do, especially now with this wild card with Roman Reigns. I'm really pleased he went over to SmackDown because he's been on Raw every blooming week since. Not his fault, but yeah. You've got all these other guys with nothing to do and the only time they're getting any kind of exposure mainly is on these extra kind of videos or they're recording stuff on their Twitter feed or for Instagram, things like that and linking it back in and making it a big wider universe and allowing us to kind of enter into that. That is brilliant and I love it and it's fun and I miss fun. I just want more fun in the WWE specifically because that's kind of more what I watch more than anything else. So yes, bit of a mini rant in the middle there, but in general I hope that the positivity of this side of it has, has kind of shone through more than anything else. It, I don't want it to just be me sitting here having a rant at you about all the problems. I'd rather focus on the more positive elements. I will admit I was a bit dubious when it first was introduced because we didn't get these bits and pieces for a couple of weeks but now they seem to be happening more frequently and I am all for that. Pinning a guy under a ring after the match is finished. Brilliant. Love it. Hopefully we get more bits and pieces week on week. How do you guys feel about the 24-7 championship? Please let me know in the comments. If there are any really sort of positive elements of the show as well at the moment that you are 
really enjoying please let me know those in the comments below as well i'd like to get a positive kind of chat going about this you can also follow me on twitter at rightly wrongly and find me on facebook at that british guy 86 until next time i've been that british guy and i will see you very soon goodbye <laughs>